Firefly tutorial how to use Firefly for personal finance. So, Firefly 3 is a self hosted personal finance manager. It is private, customizable, and designed for users who want a full control over their financial data. No ads, no data tracking, just your finances in your hands. So, you can download this one right here once you have downloaded this platform or this tool so you can now create an account so it's easy to create an account here all you have to do is to connect it to your google or add your email address and then your password and then log in so this is what it looks like so after installing or accessing your firefly 3 instance you can now create your account you will need an email and password and once logged in you will be guided to set your default currency and create your first bank account you can manually add accounts like check means savings credit card or cash so these are the tools and features on the left side you can also download this with the help of github if you are having problem with downloading this platform or tool you can use github so if you know how to use github or if you have an idea on how to basically download firefly using github script then all you have to do is to copy this code right here install or run the script and then use another tool in order for you to install this one now let's go back to firefly and then let's talk about the accounts right here below so as you can see here are the features under accounts you can see here asset account expense accounts revenue accounts liability accounts so here in the for liability accounts this represent money you owe debts or obligations credit cards loans installment payments usage in firefly you can monitor how much you owe and track repayments so you can see it right here now for revenue accounts these are used to track income or money received examples salary freelance income investment refund so the usage of this firefly fee is that it categorizes sources of income to monitor earnings over time so you can see it right here now let's move on to firefly 3 transactions so here you can see expense transactions money going out of your asset account for example bank account to pay for something for example asset account expense account for example you pay this amount right here for groceries from a bank account and then you can also add two expense let's just say groceries and then what type withdrawal so use this track spending and analyze where your money is going and then here you can see also revenue transactions it means money coming into your asset account such as salary or refunds for example you receive 15,000 a day revenue salary to your savings account Transfer transactions, moving money between two accounts, often between asset, liability, or savings account. So you can see all the information right here. Now let's move on to budget. So Firefly has this budget section. Okay, so the key feature of this budget or this budgeting category, it enables the creation of budgets with specified limits and date ranges to monitor spending. It also allows categorization of transactions and tagging for better organization and filtering. So this is what it looks like. Now you can add something here, for example groceries you can set out the budget or not you can add uh, the amount right here you can also add more information about your groceries and then you can add this to your budget section so basically it offers detailed reports on income and expenses over various periods like weekly monthly yearly it provides tools to compare budgets categories and tags aiding in financial analysis and decision making so this is what it looks like and you can add more if you want basically this is what you can see inside the budget section so again here in budget you can add the name the title you assigned to the budget time period budget amount multiple currencies automation settings now in report section here in firefly 3 you can see here the income versus expense expense breakdown by category 
budgets overview and network account balance history category trends and so on so in short it's like a budget overview it shows how much you've spent versus how much was budgeted you can track over and under budget trends over time aside from that you can also see your net worth graphs showing how your network changes over time account balance history category trends tag and group reports custom reports like the date range accounts categories tags and currency so this is what you can see here under the report section and it helps you make better financial decisions based on historical data now moving on to automation so the automation in Firefly 3 refers to features and tools that help automate repetitive financial tasks like transactions, budgeting, and data cleanup. You can see here recurring transactions, which is the purpose is to automatically repeat transactions like rent, salary, or subscription. You can also see here transaction rules. The purpose is automatically categorize, tag, rename, or move transactions based on the condition. So you can just basically add here or create a new one for recurring. So let's just say you define a rule if the description contains Netflix, tag it as entertainment. You can create another one or transaction, set it to repeat daily, weekly, monthly. Firefly will generate a transaction based on your chosen schedule. This one is good for salaries, utility bills, loan repayments and weekly transactions so these are the tools that you can use here in firefly 3 which are indeed a very helpful that can help you spend your money well and you can also see here you know transaction and track history of spending money so this one is indeed very important especially if you're looking for privacy and data ownership Full financial overview, you can track income, expenses, savings, budgets, debts, and network in one place. Smarter many decisions with detailed reports, budgets, and trend analysis. Automation that can save time. Customizable reports and budgets. Of course, multi-currency and multi-account support. Open source transparency and community. So you can see it all here. You can also import from anywhere, like you can easily import from CSP, JSON, OFX, or bank reports. Works with Firefly 3 Importer for automated savings. So, why is it important? For private and secure, transparent, automated, accurate budgets, and smart reports. Thank you for watching and see you again in our next video tutorials.